And that's what's at stake in this election. I'm not alone thinking this. Michael Anton, who wrote that great piece, the Flight 93 election, that so many never-Trumpers poo-pooed, laughed at, made fun of. Michael Anton has a book out now about this very fear that he has, that we're headed for the end. By the way, when I say the end of the two-party system, it's worse than that. We're headed to the end of democratic America. I mean, there's going to be a Republican Party, but it's never going to be able to win anything. It'll be permanently outnumbered. And one of the things that's noteworthy about the Never Trumpers is they think they're the smartest people in the room and they are literally blind to the threat posed by liberalism, which we always believed. I grew up, I supported all of these Never Trumpers when they were conservative intellectuals because I thought they got it. I thought that part and parcel of what they were doing was rooted in their understanding of the dangers of liberalism. I don't think that's a factor because they're out there now, some of these people literally trying to get Joe Biden elected. This is just doofusville. These people are so blinded by their personal hatred for Trump, they don't see what this country's genuine threats are, the threats that we that we face. So... Kudos to Ms. Pletka. But Michael Anton, who is one of the most brilliant of our conservative intellectuals, wrote the Flight 93 election. Oh, and did that tick off the Never Trumpers? They hated the. He wrote it under a, a, a different name, E Pluribus Unum or some such thing. I forgot what the name was, but he wrote it anonymously. And everybody's trying to figure out who it was because they hated the guy. Flight 93 election, meaning, hey, we got to storm the cockpit. We have got to elect Donald Trump. We have got to stop the worldwide left and its attempt at destroying the United States. And they're trying to do it again. So he's written not just a column. He has written a book about it. I'll get the title for you here in a minute. Uh, There are others who have this fear. My good buddy Mark Levin is scared to death over what this election means. Hannity, everybody. Trump is Trump Trump is the lone guy that's standing in the way of the United States ceasing to be what it was founded to be. It's that serious. And it is frightening. When you, when you think about it, we got a lot of people who want to weigh in on it, and a lot of them, I think, are. Am I right, Mister Snurdly? Many of them disagree with me on this. Leave it to Snurdly to find people who would disagree on the primary premise of the busy broadcast day, but that's okay. You know, I'm like Trump. I'm not a coward. I'm not afraid to talk to people who disagree with me. In fact, I look forward to. We put those people in front of the line. On the call roster, we uh, we always have. Here's something. Democrats back away from their plan to quickly reverse the Trump tax cuts. Now, they're going to have to be careful about this because they're out there. Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez and Crazy Bernie and everybody, whoever they are, running the Biden campaign, promising, including Biden, promising everybody they're going to raise taxes among the first things they do. If you want to know one thing, if you if you want to see, if you want to realize the degree to which the Democrat Party has lost touch with its traditional constituency, the Democrat Party was the party that everybody thought was the party of the little guy. The Democrat Party was looking out for the little guy against massively big American corporations. The Democrat Party was looking out for the union guy, the blue-collar guy, the little guy, the little woman, the soccer mom. All of, they have abandoned those people. They have abandoned everyone. When they start promising $4 trillion tax increases, I mean, if you're going to raise taxes and you want to raise that much money, you got to tax everybody. You can't just tax the rich. They're going to destroy people. 
They're going to ruin people on top of the pandemic. And they're out there promising that they're going to do this. Michael Anton's book is called The Coming Coup. The Coming Coup. And The Coming Coup is essentially the actions of the Democrats after Biden wins. They're literally going to have a coup to take over. And they're going to demolish the one-party system. It's going to be really easy for them to do the way they're going to go about it. That's why Thomas Jefferson, the founders, it's not hard. Liberty has to be defended daily. Freedom has to be defended and fought for daily. It's easy to get rid of it. If you have a mind to destroy the two-party system that's rooted in individual liberty and the freedom to vote for who you want, the Democrats, they can do this inside of months. It would be really easy to eliminate any opposition. What have I always told you about them? I have told, what's the one thing standing in the way of their acquiring total power forever? It's elections. The one thing they can't control. They resent the hell having to go through elections, folks, because they know, and do not doubt me on this, they know that they are a functioning minority, just in terms of numbers. We have not gotten to the point where a majority of Americans want to get rid of democracy, want to get rid of a representative republic. We haven't reached the point where a majority of Americans want Marxism as the governing philosophy of the country or communism. We're not there. They know that. They're fully aware of it. So the thing they've got to do is get rid of the one thing that stands in their way, and that's elections. So how would they do that? That wouldn't be all that tough. You don't actually get rid of elections. You make them pointless. I mean, Putin still has elections. I think it's 95% of the vote. Hugo Chavez, Venezuela, had elections. 97% of the vote. So you don't get rid of elections. You just arrange them so that they don't matter. And it's not hard. That's what's scary about it. And I'll go through the details, the relative ease, uh, as the as the program unfolds. Now, I got to make a correction. I'm very sorry, ladies and gentlemen. This is what happens when I rely on people other than me. Michael Anton's book is not titled The Coming Coup. That is a column he recently wrote. The title of Michael Anton's book is The Stakes, America at the Point of No Return. This guy, I'm telling you, he's brilliant. Uh, he has uh, the Flight 93 election uh, written in 2016. Uh, Coco, read link to that. Put that back up at RushLimbaugh.com, the Flight 93 election. probably already have. It is worth going back and revisiting. And then you, when you read the Flight 93 election, I want you to remember that that column is what spawned a whole bunch of conservative intellectuals, many of whom you had donated to, you had underwritten their magazines, you'd gone on their cruises or whatever. They came out, they didn't know who wrote it, but they, the long knives were out for Michael Anton because he was taking it right to them for not having the guts and the balls to realize what was at stake, even in 2016. And he thinks it's even worse now. It's, we're, it's, it's more dangerous and precarious now.